hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about on block error action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop under the flow control you have an action called on block error right and here you can see that it says that marks the beginning of a block to handle action errors which means in this on block error if you add multiple actions right and if on any of those actions any error occurs then whatever the action we are going to specify on the on block error that will be executed okay so on block error will work as a container right so for example if i click on cancel and if i take wait for process and here you can see that it say gives an option to on error and then you have these options to choose what happens if there is any error on this particular action similarly if you have you are going to add five or ten actions then you will have to specify on error property for all those ten actions right but when you use on block error action here you specify what should happen if out of ten you know what happens if any error occurs on any of these container items right so for example if i i will give the name as exception handling and then what do i want to do i will click on continue flow run and go to the end of the block so whatever the ac action i will add inside on block error and if any error occurs on those action then this set of actions will be performed which means it will go to the end of the on block error action and then what you want to do here you have an option to capture unexpected logic errors you can also enable and disable as per your requirement here you have an option to set a new rule which means you can set a variable if you want to set a variable when there is any error so i can just put as exception counter or maybe just say counter and set the value as one right and if you want to run a subflow you can come back and specify it here and you can if you want you can close it i will click on save so today i'm going to work with notepad application and here you can see this notepad application is opened right and then what i want to do is i want to focus this notepad application and then i want to maximize it okay so i will go back to the power automate and then i will click on on block error then i will go to the ui automation inside the windows i have an option i have an action which is named as focus window i will choose by title or class and then i will click on select window window is highlighted i will press control and left mouse click you can see the title and class is captured and then i will click on save the next one is set window state i will click on set window state and drag and drop it in the designer panel and then i will click on by title or class and then i will click on select window window is highlighted i'll press ctrl and left mouse click 
and here you can see the title and class is captured now this time what I want to do is because I want to generate the error so I will remove this notepad and I'll just keep untitled okay so which means I'm just saying that I want a window which has title as untitled and class is notepad okay and then I want to maximize it then I will click on save so because on on block error proper action I have set the variable as counter as one in case if any action gives error which is inside this on block error uh, action then I want to go to the end of it which means if it gives error on line number two then it will come to the line number four it will skip all other actions now I will go to the conditionals and then I will click on you know I will take the if and then I will choose counter is equal to one because this is the value we are setting when there is any error inside the on block error action now I will go to the message boxes I will take display message and here I will say error occurred I'll keep the window on top and I will close it automatically after three seconds now I will run the bot so it has focused it now it has given error because it did not find uh, you know a window which has a title as untitled it has title as untitled space then hyphen space and then notepad right and that is why when it gave this error it, gave, it had set the value as one and when this value is one it showed this error message right now for example I will just open this set window state and I will put star why do I put star because I want to tell that there can be any other word before and after the untitled so I'm just saying that there can be anything after the untitled okay so I will click on save now I will run the bot the moment I will run the bot you will see the counter is set as zero and this time you see that it has been able to maximize that notepad application right now here you can see that in the on block error we have also an option to create a run a sub flow okay so what I will do is I will create a sub flow which will be named as exception and what I want to do is I will take the display message and I'll set the message as error display error in exception subflow I'll keep it on top and then I will close it automatically after three seconds I will go back to the notepad sorry I will go back to the main function and in the on block error I will set another rule which is run a subflow now see what will happen I will remove this star because I want to generate the error and then I will run the bot so first what will happen is it will focus it will it gave an error it will close it then it will go to the end of it and then it will show another message so the flow was it came here it focused the window that line number three gave an error 
so we have specified that when there is an error we want to set the value of counter as 1 and I want to run a subflow which is exception so it went to the exception block showed the showed this message box and then it came here set the value as 1 and then showed this message box so this is how you can use on block error action in power automate desktop this can be very useful in order to you know handle the exception and this also gives you an option to you know not to specify the error handling mechanism on each and every action it stores all other actions inside it and then you can specify your rule saying that if on any of these actions there is any error then you want to perform certain action right so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day